What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And what we're going to be talking about right now is this bum, Nick Foles. Now, when I'm saying he's a bum, it kind of rubs the Eagle fans the wrong way. And I'm like, do I really care, though? And the answer is no. The dude really comes up small when it's needed. But I'm going to tell you this right now. When I played against this guy, right, for some reason, I think this guy must be a regular. You know, this guy's an Eagle fan. He has, like, every Eagle player on his team mixed in with some other guys. And I was looking at a lot of stuff that was going on. And you're going to be able to see that, theoretically speaking, if Madden has anything to do with it, the Eagles will win the Super Bowl because Nick Foles will play like how Nick Foles is about to play right now. Now, if you analyze what's going to be happening in this game with this guy, he's going to be throwing the ball any way he wants to, and things are going to get wild. And what I mean by wild is just regular EA madness. Um, if you're not familiar with what EA, EA – you see like how he's throwing the ball right in the coverage? You see my guy, when he, click, when he throws the ball, right, I click on to make the play. You see the delayed click on? That's just due to the way that EA doesn't really allow you to get your player. A lot of the people that played Madden for a very, very long time, the one thing you used to have to give Madden credit for was the click-on speed. I think that that has something to do with EA taking away more of the user control or delaying the process because what happens is when the game first came out, right, earlier, like even right there when I clicked on, my guy just flies to the ground and stuff like that. When you click on, you don't get an immediate response. That's what the issue is. But if you just take a look at the way Nick Foles, like, that's bar. And you see the other guy comes down to try to make a play. If he makes a couple plays like this, the Eagles, the Eagles are going to beat the Patriots. As funny as it sounds, like, people – a lot of individuals are not giving the Eagles a chance. See, I don't ever do that in the Super Bowl because the Super Bowl is a weird game. And it's it just sometimes – it's sort of like – you remember when the Ravens played the 49ers? I think, in my opinion, that the Niners should have won that Super Bowl. But what happened was the lights went out because some Ravens fan turned the lights off. And then when they turned it back on, it was on. It was on and popping over there, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Like, weird things happen. And sometimes the team that we think is going to win doesn't. But the wild card of this game is the quarterback. Because go ahead. Write it in the comments right now. Just, just say, look, say Carson Wentz didn't get injured. And it's the same scenario. You still don't have your left tackle. You still don't got Peters. You still don't got everything like that. But you got Walker to him Wentz. I want you guys to do me a favor. Please, pause the video and write who wins the Super Bowl, even if you're a Patriots fan. Now, most of you Patriots fans are going to still say Tom Brady would win. And I understand that, but Tom Brady can only do but so much. You see what I'm saying? Walk it to him with that offense. It, it provides – you, you got to understand, Bill Belichick knows that Foles is not a mobile guy. Like, he'll roll out a little bit. He's not running up and down the field. He's not doing – walk it to him is so difficult to defend. And – in my opinion, right, In my because I think the line right now is like four, four and a half, right, uh, in favor of the Patriots, which doesn't make sense because the Patriots don't usually win by any more than three. Um, but if you just think about what I'm saying right now, analyze it. Why did he just run backwards and dive? I must have thought I was doing play action. Or I may have, I may have been drinking way too much uh, vodka. Either way, it was bad. But if Walker Tuum is in this Super Bowl, there is no way possible that – the line is the way that it is. I, I think it would be a pick -em. I think it would honestly be a pick -em if Walker Tuum was playing. But they know the Eagles' defense is solid enough to make Tom Brady nervous. It's not like Tom Brady's going to go out there every like every time he has the ball and score a touchdown. Like, that's not going to happen. A lot of you Patriot fans are going crazy. Like, oh, yeah, you know, number 12. He's a great quarterback, but the Eagles is a very fast defense, and they're more disciplined. See, the Jaguars are a younger team. They did have a very stout defense. But Malcolm Jenkins helping lead this defense, it's a much more mature defense. They're not going to make the same mistakes. And then I had other people say, oh, that's a hot one. That's such a hot one. I had other people say, yeah, but look at what, look at what happened to the Vikings. Let me explain something about the Vikings, right? The Vikings weren't ready for what was happening to them at all. The Vikings thought that Nick Foles was going to be like a Nick Foles bum. Like they, tried to, they tried to make him seem like he didn't have any idea what he was doing at quarterback. That's what happened. And he got shot. Everybody got shocked when, guess what? The receivers are still very good. The Eagles are still a very good football team. You don't make it to where you are to just be like a fly-by-night dude. This is not, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's really, really crazy. Like, he's not Blake Bortles. He can throw the ball. You know what I'm talking about? So that was the issue that happened with the Vikings. And, yeah, they were the number one defense. They just weren't prepared for it. Whoever, whoever, oh, he caught that? Whoever did the preparation for the Vikings defense that week or whatever, they they did not prepare for what Nick Foles was able to do. That because you and that's what I don't understand. And that's why I give Bill Belichick a lot of credit and a lot of people say, yeah, you know, he's still a cheater. 
Look, I didn't see the evidence, and the NFL destroyed it. Why would they destroy all the evidence? I don't know. But I understand that that will forever plague the Patriots. But what I'm saying is, and what I always try to counteract with, to be fair, is usually when you're caught doing something wrong, you can't keep winning. You can't say that about the Patriots. So I don't know if it's like, you know like how when you already win it, but you do something extra anyway? I think Bill Belichick just wants to really hurt people, bro. Like, he just really wants to make you know, like, bruh, not only did I beat you, I cheated, saw everything he's going to do, and I wanted to make it hurt more when you found out. Like, he's he's a psycho when it comes to that kind of stuff, but I don't know if that's more or less of what it is. But you can't deny the coaching aspect of what Bill Belichick is. You see what I'm saying? Like, if Nick Foles is able to do this in the Super Bowl, that's going to be – these are going to be key plays because eSports is doing whatever in their power to make this bum stay in the game. And that's fine. But if he's able to throw hot ones, he's going to have some near picks, though. We already know that's going to happen. If somehow, somewhere, because you got to remember, they still have a solid running game. And that's what people are... Look, put it like this, right? Alex Smith. We all know what we... When I say Alex Smith, you don't think game changer. When Alex Smith hears his name, he doesn't think game changer. He knows what he is. This is what my point is, right? Alex Smith is a dude that will come out and just, you know, he'll be a guy that'll come out and do whatever he wants and, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens with it and he, he'll, he'll pretty much manage the game and whatever like that. But give him a running game. Give him Kareem Hunt. Give him Tyreek Hill. What did we see with the Chiefs the last season, even though he's gone and he's with the Redskins now? What, what did we see? What did we see out of Alex Smith? All of a sudden, he went from game manager to, to, to throw it deep to throw a deep Smith. Come on, bro. The It starts with the run game. You open up the play action. You do a lot of different things like that. Ajayi, LeGarrette Blunt. Come on, dude. They're going to run the ball. The Patriots are going to have to respect it. LeGarrette Blunt knows a lot about how that defense is put together. He's going to be very, very, um, he's going to be a huge asset. And I believe that he already is throughout this week getting them ready. This game is going to be closer than you think. And if the Patriots do win it, we have to, forever say that Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time. I don't see how we cannot give him that title. See, that's the issue that I'm trying to figure out. What is the argument? You guys, okay, all the Patriot haters, because it was funny, uh, you know, one day I was looking through my comments, and, uh, you know, I try to check through it regularly just to see what's going on with it, and um, somebody was saying, you know, I, you know, F Tom Brady, I hate him. And it was hilarious because I could already sense the Tom, you know, like, like, like the Patriot hate, but then... You know, I responded with like, you know, just laughing. He was like, yo, bro, he's too good. I just hate him. So, you know, it's a respect issue there. But again, I understand as a fan, I do believe that Tuck rule, they robbed Charles Woodson and the Raiders organization of a Super Bowl because they would have went on to win it that year. I do believe that, you know, Spygate, Bounty Gate, all kinds of gates with the gates. I do believe that that had some impact on what's going on right now. But to see what Tom Brady was able to accomplish beyond that, it has to be at some point where you're like, all right, the dude came back down 28 to three, bro. And I know the defense had a lot to do with it. And also the Falcons choked, you know what I'm saying? But he still was able to make every play that was needed. That is key. That is, that is very, very clutch. So I'm not, you know, I, I, like I said, the Eagles defense is going to have a lot, you know, on their plate. But if Foles is able to score, if Foles is able to even do anything he's doing, what EA has this guy doing in this game, because this guy is a terrible Madden player and probably a terrible individual, but it doesn't matter. We're speaking theoretically. If he's able to play and throw those hot ones right there against Paul Krause and do all this ridiculous, put, put, like, put it in there, do certain things like that, if that's able to happen in this Super Bowl, Super Bowl 52, the Eagles will win this game. The Eagles will win this game easily. If Foles was able to give them you know, two touchdowns and the running back, you know, if they're able to put up at least 21 points, I believe they win this game. Because I don't think the Eagles are going to give up more than 21 points. I just don't think so. I think they're going to play good enough. It might, maybe they give up 24 and it's 24, 21 final score. But I just don't see how they, the Eagles defense is built to play a team like the Patriots. Because again, they were more disciplined Jaguars, you know, type team. But obviously, Jalen Ramsey is out of this world. So I can't compare any of the corners there to Jalen Ramsey, but they play well together and their corners are not bad. They're just not on Jalen Ramsey's level. So Nick Foles, play, like I said, it just came to my mind when I was looking at this guy and the stuff he was doing. If he's able to make these throws, like right here, this hot dot right there, we're going to get this fumble and that's pretty much a wrap for this game. The Eagles will win the Super Bowl. I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know right here. I'm going to try to hit him with a swerve 
back from Madden 17, but he was able to play some D, though. He's playing that D. So I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. Video view goal, an even 100K. One love.